Hi, I'm Scott Whittle, and along with Tom Stevenson, I'm co-author of The Warbler Guide. Today, I'd like to talk about some of the exciting new features in our book, which include quick finders, full-featured species accounts, sonograms, comparison pages, undertale illustrations, and additional features such as taxonomy, hybrids, non-warbler species, and quizzes. We designed this guide to be as efficient as possible when identifying a warbler. One useful tool in this process is the quick finders. We use both visual and audio quick finders in our guide to help you quickly find a bird that you're looking for. The visual quick finders are broken into side view, 45 degree view, and underside, so that they're effective from whatever angle the bird is being seen. We also have east and west coast quick finders to help narrow down the selection by range, as well as a complete undertail finder. Using the finders allows us to make an ID in one or two steps. Either we find the bird we're looking for in the finder itself, or we can go to that species account and use the comparison pages to further refine the ID. For example, if I think the bird I'm seeing is this bird, which is yellow warbler, then I can go to that species account and look at the comparison pages to find that in fact the bird I saw was a similar looking species, Wilson's warbler. We also use audio quick finders, which help identify songs by grouping them by structure and quality. We then carry this one step further with chip and flight calls and have created these comparison finders that help study and identify those short vocalizations. At the heart of the warbler guide are the species accounts. We design these from the ground up in a way that we think is the most effective system ever developed. Each warbler is given six to 10 pages in the species accounts. For warblers that have variable plumage, we create totally separate pages for these different appearing birds. The first spread of the species account shows the warbler from three different angles. Warblers are often seen from below, and we include a lot of useful information for identifying birds from this angle. We also show a number of additional photos to give a sense of the bird in the field and provide additional information about the bird. Warblers are often seen in partial glimpses, and our distinctive views and color icons for each species help focus on distinguishing features even when the whole bird isn't seen. We also have a set of icons for preferred habitat, range, distinctive behaviors, undertail, and silhouette. On the next spread of the species accounts, we have comparison species. In the past, you might have to page through a whole guide to see what birds might be similar to the one you're looking at. In the warbler guide, we collect all those similar looking species in one place for easy comparison. We also include a complete illustrated aging and sexing guide specifically tailored for birders, the first of its kind. Finally, we have complete maps that show the entire range of the bird, with two maps for birds that have different northerly and southerly migration routes, as well as range bars to show the timing of migration for each species. On the last spread of the species accounts, we go over the bird's vocalizations. We developed a complete system for studying and analyzing bird song that uses sonograms to visualize and compare details for each song. By breaking down the structure of the song, we find we have a much more effective way of learning warbler songs than has ever been available in the past. And just like with the visual pages, we include comparison sonograms for any songs that might be confused with our study species. We've also included a number of supporting chapters in the warbler guide. At the beginning of our book, we have several introductory chapters to go over important information about how to learn vocalizations, how to look at sonograms, and how to look more closely at warbler plumage and shape. Towards the end of the book, we also include useful chapters such as non-warbler species, which outlines other types of birds that might be confused with warblers, taxonomy, which presents the new taxonomy chart based on DNA research recently developed by Dr. Irby Lovett, hybrids, which goes over both common and uncommon warbler hybrids, warblers in flight, which for the first time collects photographs of warblers in flight as well as notes on how to identify those birds in flight, and a quiz section, which helps test your new knowledge on warblers. We hope that this book will be helpful to both beginners and advanced birders in developing a better appreciation and a stronger ability to identify warblers, as well as to learn how to look and listen to birds in general. From comparison species to icons to a whole new system for learning songs, our guide is designed to make you a better birder. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the Warbler Guide.